pretty sure schools are out by now. So today we're gonna be watching some school TikToks. I bet my nephew $50 to do this. Bet him $50 to trip and fall. You sure that was on purpose? It looked quite convincing. This girl went up on stage after she graduated, right? She hugging all the teachers a lot and just boom! The disrespect and then went back to hugging the rest down the line. What did she do to you that you were just like... I mean, to be fair, she didn't even like go in for the hug or anything. So that teacher, the whole year, she was telling her like, you aren't gonna graduate, you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail my class, you're not gonna walk down that line. And then when she finally did, she hit her with a mm. I graded last week's tests and they came back D's. What do you mean by D's? Um, what I mean is basically D's nuts! <laughs> Got him! Um. Sorry, uh, am I muted? Can you guys, am I coming through? Can we just get our actual scores? Yeah, yeah. Wow, not even a snicker from this dude's class. This dude over here like, can we get our actual scores? Like, I know I did not get a D on that test. Students, they did not pass the vibe check. Tell us my students the new response brings today. Lesson. <laughs> This classroom is straight bussin'. <laughs> Works every time! I mean, how to get your kids' attention. Yo, if I was a teacher, I would be like, on TikTok all day like, what, what, what are these kids up to? Oh wait, I do that now. <laughs> this is a genius way to get out of class. English, we're gonna use my box. Excuse me, um, the fire alarm in our apartment is going off. So, yeah, Emma and I are gonna exit, but we're gonna come back as soon as they let us back in. Okay, thank no, you. I'm gonna make it out. All right. <laughs> she got the fire alarm on speaker, full volume. Bro, I, I think this building is on fire. I gotta like get out of here. We gotta dip. What are you gonna tell her? No. POV, you're listening to the class next to yours having a pizza party in the fifth grade because they sold more box tops. <laughs> you just hear the music through the walls and you're just like, that could have been me. That could have been us. They used to hype up pizza parties so much for what? For this? Hey, what's the matter? I have a headache. You have a headache? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to lay down for a little bit? Yeah, but um, my, my, my dad has a new girlfriend and my mom's very mad. Um, I'm sorry, what? Not only do you have a headache, but also some tea. Dad got a new girlfriend and mother is mad. So what else? Point of view, you ask your teacher for some help. And they're like, And what did you get? Two times two is 63. <laughs> You're on the right track. You're right and wrong. But I can tell you getting warmer. Go back to your desk. Look up the notes one more time. One more time. <laughs> We ain't even in the same ballpark. And they're like, you're on the right track. Try again. Bro, what do you mean I was close? Are we even looking at the same answer? Also, why do they always be eating and talking like... You do not need a good excuse to go to office hours. Your professor wants to meet. Mm, I don't know if that... <laughs> Y'all heard it from an actual teacher, like, mm, I, I don't know. This dude, the funniest teacher on TikTok. You might want to see your professor, but your professor most certainly does not want to see you. Good to know. We will stick to email. The principal take. Jiggles more than a cup of jello. Nurse's office. Oh yes, Sarah's mom. You want her to ride out the rest of the day? Okay, I'll let her know. Bye-bye. Sarah, I'm sorry your mom's not coming to get you. You're going to have to go back to class. I know, but you've been here for an hour and you don't have a fever. Here's your pass. You're going to be okay. What's wrong, sweetie? You're having a panic attack. Oh, no. Well, here's an ice pack, and I'll come over and check your temperature, okay? For a second, I thought I was actually at the nurse's office. I don't care what's wrong. Panic attack, broken toe, tummy hurt. Nothing solves it like a good old ice pack. Mother's not coming to get you. That's always that one girl in class that has the perfect handwriting, the neatest notes. You know who I'm talking about. Teachers, after the whole class failed the test. Uh-oh. In my 25 years of teaching. It always starts. However many years they have been teaching. I ain't never seen anything like it. I'm sure you do this every year. It's like if your whole class is failing a test, it's not the student's fault. It's the teacher's fault. If they're not learning. 
learning. That's on the teacher. Every April Fools, I give my students a word search without any words in it. All right, so we have 15 minutes, okay? Find those words, cross them off. This is for a grade. Make sure your name's up at the top. Oh, okay. that's brutal. Uh, it needs to be in the turning basket. Especially if they're kids. Minutes, they go, look please. at this. Like, where are the words in the crossword? I don't. It There's supposed to be, be guys. words this is in it. Why can't I find crossword. anything? A word search. Looks like most of us are going to be spending recess time finishing these. No, not recess. Okay, serious question. Are you guys like joking? No. No, no, no we're not joking. Oh, I am. April Fool's. <laughs> are you? Oh, my God. All right, that was a good one, too. It's seven in the morning. What are y'all doing? Oh, we just got to school. It's seven in the morning. I'm sure. Girl, who are you trying to hide from? That we are getting a whole new identity for. Every English teacher ever. <laughs> it's just a cardigan thing, what can I say? It's so weird. Do we all just have the same teachers that all do the same thing? Correct me if I'm mistaken, but I ain't never had a guy English teacher. And I've never had a girl history teacher. Okay, so does every high school have that one girl who had to wear a knee brace for all four years and she's just mobbing through the hallways like... Yeah, and she was either in lacrosse or volleyball. I don't know, I never inquired about it. Like, hey, yo, what's with the knee brace? I thought she just had a bad knee or something. Like, isn't that why they wear it? Like, I wear like a wrist brace because I get carpal tunnel. Also, I have arthritis. Nobody was ever like, why are you wearing that? Same, I ain't never do the same. I'm just like, actually with the knee. My student emailed me the other day and go what happened. Ah, it's over. We found your TikTok. Oh, how the tables have turned. You know, usually before it was like, I gotta worry about the teacher or the other students finding my TikTok, but no plot twist when the teacher has a TikTok. Billy, what do you mean it's over? Like, are you gonna fail me? Are you gonna blackmail me? You gonna take this to the principal and be like, look, Miss Cranberry got a TikTok. I pranked my students by giving them a surprise test on April Fool's Day. For math today, uh -oh. we are friends. We are taking a test to test our fraction knowledge, okay? Yeah. So if we don't finish, and if we do have indoor recess, we'll we'll go into indoor recess with this, okay? If you finish, I'd rather fail. Y'all didn't even see the paper yet. It's 4 one twenty one. yes. All right, you guys can turn the page in three, two, one. It literally says April Fools. April Fools! <laughs> okay, don't they started it. ripping the test and throwing the paper at her. <laughs> Aren't y'all glad y'all don't have a test to take? This is what I think where you sit in class is about how you act. People in the escape zone sat in the front row so that they'd look like a good student, but they actually just wanted to be as close to the door as possible. They're watching the clock doodling, ready to leave. These are your stereotypical front row people. They're raising their hand every five seconds, asking a million questions, and weirdly trying to prove to everyone how smart they are. These people might not be as good at school, but their plan is to become best friends with the teacher whose desk is right there. They'll just try to get them off track, talk about anything other than class. In the loud zone, you got people talking to each other, passing notes, laughing the whole time. Let's be honest, it's a fun place, but like 50% of it's for attention from the whole class and the teacher, and they secretly do care about class. Might be a hot take, but these people can be fantastic students just without asking as many annoying questions. They might not participate as much as everyone else, but they're gonna get the highest score on the test. I don't know what it is about this spot right here, but these people actually don't care about school. They're never gonna turn anything in, get in weird fights with your teacher, and it's just not a great energy. Strangely accurate. Also, the desk by the window, that's where the main character sits. Specifically, the two middle ones. Watch my graphic design teacher roast our work. It's boring. But it works, right? H. Hey, you know what? You can't go wrong with just making a letter. It mostly just looks like a butt when you fill in a letter B. Oh, Monica. No, sorry. This feels kind of like a logo for like a corporation that is proudly polluting the environment. Is it a noodle company? I'm not totally sure. As far as this goes, the question is why? It just looks like you're mad. If you're if you are mad, maybe that's your name. This says, I know how to do code. Um which I guess is probably what you're going for, I'm not sure. Ass. As. Once again, letters in a circle? Sure. This just feels like a kind of a, a poorly drawn logo that somebody wrote on the outside of their notebook in grade school, which is cool for that. He already knows the students are a joke. You know what? We're gonna grade everybody's assignment like right now. Going through them like chip. Hello friends, it's 
it's me. Today we're gonna be watching some school TikToks. Me putting glue on a piece of paper. Remember, a dot is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, a dot is not a lot. A dot ain't gonna stick two pieces of paper together. If the glue ain't oozing out the sides like a grilled cheese sandwich, it ain't gonna stick. The person who took my school photo ID, you need a raise ASAP. The person who took mine needs to get fired. I'm sorry, like look at this. It looks good. And then this, what is this? They couldn't even get her in the center of the frame. Cameraman's first day on the job. Just point and click. It's so bad. Betsy, I think you need a do-over. That time I passed out sophomore year. I began to pass out. Then my head hit the wall. Presentation. Literally the best time to pass out. The teacher's just gonna feel bad and end up giving you a better grade. Imagine if she made you redo it. Bro, I passed out. I got PTSD from the first time I tried to present. You really gonna make her do it again? I can see it. I can see the family connection. Mm-hmm. It's your eyebrows. I can see it. Mm-hmm. You are the spitting image of your sister. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at you now <laughs> and I can see her. Literally me being the oldest and then all of my siblings going to the same school after me. All the teachers I had give this talk to all of my siblings. Like they just know. They gotta lecture them in front of the whole class like, yes, I know your sister. I had her last year. She was a great student, by the way. I didn't actually say that. <laughs> teachers when their students won't stop talking. Oh, I'll wait. Okay, then wait. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait for us to uh, finish our conversation. Like, bro, you are still eating, so I must still be talking. POV, you are taking a test, and I catch you cheating. No, no, no. Naughty, naughty. Takes it back. You're done here. When you're a high school teacher and made it through your first week of in-person school. You know, sometimes I forget that teachers are real people and they have real lives. And you know, they like go out and they do things and have fun, you know. As a student, that doesn't usually occur to people. Like, oh, you do things besides teach my class? I thought y'all just go home and like grade papers and go to sleep and then do it again. No. Another thing that like blew my mind recently is how young a lot of these teachers are. They're like in their 20s and like growing up, I'm like, whoa, you guys are all so old. But it's only because I was a literal fetus. <gasps> so in this school, a printer exploded. We got a whole entire lake full of ink. Evacuate. Y'all been doing fire drills your whole life to prepare you for this moment. There's no fire, but a literal printer exploded into the hallway. We got the black sea of ink coming to swallow you up. I can't believe this actually happened. Y'all try to photocopy a whole entire textbook for a literal printer to blow up. Be like, I can't take this no more. Self-destruct. In the lunch line. You need a fruit or veggie? <laughs> I mean, you do. I still got PTSD when I got an apple pie. And then when I went to check out, I didn't have enough money on my card. They made me put it back. I did not eat that day. Do they still do that? That's kind of messed up. Bro, summer school is something else. Oh, ain't nobody even pressing it. They're not even pressing the button. Oh my God, what is that? What is living in there? It's bubbling. Oh, oh Venom, that you? This gotta be somewhere in Florida. When the principal comes to pull someone out of class. Oh yes, I needed to steal Mr. Jones from you. Mike Jones, My Michael Jones, I need you. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead and pack up everything, all of your belongings. Um, you're gonna come with me. And then when he picks up everything, oh, everybody's know. like, ooh. Oh, so we've got the blue for Michael's in trouble. Junaby Jones? Oh, nice. Stop making small talk. Uh, tell me the rest of the class. About, uh, 10 minutes. Mr. Jones, is that everything? Is that your jacket in the back? Yes, you're gonna need that. Yeah, you got a long week ahead of you, mister. <laughs> yes. Yes, I have Mr. Jones and we're headed back to the office now. Yes. Look, what is so serious? Uh, you, they do this when you about to get suspended. Like when you packing up everything, you in trouble trouble. Wanna know how hard medical school is? This guy is looking up a career change mid-class. You know, before the class even starts. Looking up plumbing school. Is this gonna be faster? Will this satisfy my parents in the same way medical school will? About it, the biggest lick of all licks. I'm pretty sure TikTok's taking all of these down. They're locking up the bathrooms. They put in chains on the toilets. They got a lock on the soap dispensers because they can't handle all these devious licks. And now they have dismantled the entire sink. Bessie, I don't think that's gonna fit in your backpack. Like, look at this bathroom. Licked clean. They took the urinals. Every single sink. All for a drop of clout. 
Would it really be a school TikToks without calling teachers by their first name? Rebecca, let me let me holler at you real quick. Rebecca, where are you going? Rebecca, I know you hear me. Sir. She's like, ah! I picked the worst day to wear my being kind is cool shirt. Yo, what up, Tracy? Trying to get some books off you, Tracy? Are you talking to me? Yeah, Tracy. I'm Mrs. Hewlett. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, uh, get it right next time. Logan. 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 Logan, where are you going? Logan started walking faster. Like when your dog has something they shouldn't have in their mouth. And you start yelling at them. And you're like, what do you have in your mouth? And they start chewing it faster. Hey, what's up, Jamila? Good morning. Kevin. What? Hey, no, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, good morning, Tori. How you been? You do not call me Tori. Hey, what's up, Shelby? How you been? Get out of my room. Have you lost your mind? Don't ever make me back. You look, you got off with a warning. She did not like that. We are not friends. We foes after this. Hey, what's up, Mackenzie? How you been? Okay, don't get out of office. Hey, don't, don't. hey, Natalie, what's up? Kevin, how did you learn my first name? No one knows my first name. Hey. I'm going to strangle hey, you. Hey, hey. How I felt when the vegan teacher called me by my first name. Culinary got me walking around campus with his bathroom pass. A, it's a fork. A giant fork. The size of a shovel. I can't with this. Come on, this is so unnecessary. All I know is that's one heck of a devious lick right there. Young teacher problems. Does Miss Welsh know you're in here? I am Miss Welsh. Uh, practices in the field house. Um, I work here. That's embarrassing. But you're a teacher and look like an actual student. What? What noise is that? Are you done? No. Is this what the kids are doing nowadays? Can I get a whole ya? It's like that random kid in the back of the class that always moans. But now we got whole ya. POV, a cheerleader comes up to you. Are you new here? Yeah. Who <laughs> 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 face? If someone gave me that look, I'm switching schools. Leaving immediately. So much attitude. I never thought the way somebody walked could be so offensive, but here we are. So this teacher is talking to one of her students on the last day of school, and he's really sad that school is over because he won't get to have her as a teacher anymore. It's okay, buddy. Don't cry. I love you so much, Maximus. We'll be besties forever, okay? Okay, and listen, listen, listen. We can still do Google Meet over the summer. Just because school's over doesn't mean I ever stop being your teacher, okay? Aww. It's okay. I know. I'm really sad right now too, buddy, but it's okay. It's okay. We need to be excited too, because even though it's hard that we're leaving, guess what? We're growing up and we're gonna go to second grade and have the coolest new teacher. That's actually so sweet. I can't even imagine having a teacher that I like that much, that I start crying because they can't teach me anymore. Some would say heartwarming. I say unrealistic. How it felt when you saw another school on a school field trip. When y'all both get off the buses and you're like, ugh, who is this school? And give them like a stank look. We are clearly the superior school and like nobody talks to the other school. We don't know you. No one. That one teacher. <laughs> Someone actually did it. Someone caught him in 4K. Bending over the desk. You know what they say when one student's getting help, the other one got a face full of booty. That's not what they say. The teachers better not do this when I go back to school. <laughs> There it is. Oh, the good old V stance. Let me get down to your level. Just legs spread wide open. Cheeks clenched. And can we talk about how their breath always stinks? I swear they'll all be eating tuna sandwiches for lunch. It always stinks. What teachers wear to different events? Non-uniform day. English teacher vibes. The school field trip. Prom. Parents evening. It's always the long cardigan. Sports day. Leavers assembly. You can't tell me she's not a teacher. All of these spot on. You know, everything gotta have a print on it. I had my second graders draw Squidward. I number one. You got me. Um, so we got it. That's, those are pretty good. Four, got it. No, All right. Oh, we got B. Oh, pretty no, good. Five. Pretty good. We got mm. Bro, what is that? It's like they forgot they were drawing Squidward halfway through. I want to draw grass and the sky. I said y'all want to cancel me? Yeah. yeah. Hashtag cancel bonus. Hashtag, Hashtag cancel bonus. Hashtag cancel bonus. Hashtag cancel bonus. Kind of like COVID canceled y'all field trip. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You see this? 
This is a whole entire teacher right here. I'm probably old enough to be his mom. He looked like he could be a student there. Teachers whenever they eat. One second. It's like, why did you take the bite? If you have to talk, like... And then y'all rush yourself and do this little... All right, let's get started. Y'all don't get a lunch break? Why don't y'all eat on your lunch break like everybody else? I swear they always eat it after lunch. Yeah. How online class Can't be? You know, are you eating? Yes. Who told you that you can eat in my class? On um, my stomach. Well, eating isn't allowed in my class. Um, when did my room become your class? Antonio, I said stop eating. Oh, you know what, you're right. You want some? You seem a little hungry. It's like too late. You know <laughs> Do teachers actually care if you're eating in an online class? As long as you got your mic muted, we ain't hearing no lip smacking, cows grazing type of sounds, then mind your business. Your teacher says, there's no assigned seats today. Just come in and have a seat wherever you'd like. Don't actually sit wherever you want. That means don't sit next to your bestie for a couple of days. You see, teachers say this at the beginning of the year to see who can actually sit next to each other. And if you're sitting next to someone who's going to distract you, aka your bestie, your teacher's going to take a mental note of this and never sit you next to them. Oh, you know what? That's actually really smart. So when the teacher says, sit wherever you'd like on the first day of school, y'all got to sit as far as possible from your best friend, your crush, whoever you actually want to sit next to. Sit next to the people that you don't want to sit next to. And then when y'all got assigned seats, there's a greater chance you're going to end up sitting with your friends. I thought teachers did this because they wanted to be nice, but now we know your true intentions. POV English teachers when they're disappointed. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You guys know better. You guys know better. They all got the same no, sweater. No. Wrap and unwrap and wrap it even tighter. The tighter they wrap their sweater, the more irritated they are. It's always the English teachers, too. Hello friends, it's me. Since it is back to school season, we're gonna be watching some school TikToks today. How dangerous is a school playground? Watch for incoming balls. Oh. La, la, la. Of course it's gonna be dangerous when you're gonna pick up the students by the scruff and launch at full speed against the cement. <laughs> Y'all playing bowling with the kids these days? You know, what if you good job the children a little too hard? Trips falling over. Stick through the head. A stick through the head? I never knew this was a problem until now. That is a concussion. He said that's a concussion? Bro, that's a felony on your part. When you shoving the kids into metal railings. Hands over the fence. Woo! Hey kid, y'all ever ate wood? Now, if your kid runs into that, if your kid runs into that, launched him like he was a basketball. <laughs> yeah, be careful your kid doesn't get launched by the other adults. POV that one kid isn't sick in the middle of the exam. I can't tell you how much I can't stand this. When someone busts out one of these cops, those nasty dry- <laughs> You know they sick, and they gonna get you sick. It's just energies. Nah, I see anybody coughing like this in public, I'm walking a quarter mile the other way. It's not only a cough, it's a warning. <laughs> he just played the sound on his phone? There ain't no teacher there to say, Your bell doesn't dismiss you, I do. No, actually, this YouTube sound effect does. Yo, bro, I heard girls can't even fit phones in their pockets. Dude, I don't even need a backpack anymore. Just... Excuse me, the absolute disrespect I just witnessed. Every year, the female pocket is becoming smaller and smaller. You know, if I don't have a bag with me, I gotta start making up pockets. I call this the pit pocket. There's also the boob pocket. Very useful. The waistband. Excellent. And then there's this guy who in his jacket can fit an entire binder and notebook. I'm flabbergasted. We have the ability to bear children, but no pocket to fit our phone? The room. This is Buck. Buck the vocab mascot to encourage you to do your bucking vocab. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say something else. Buck likes to do his bucking vocab. <laughs> if you don't do your bucking vocab and we lose the vocab bowl, I kill the dog. <gasps> you what? You killed the dog? Man, I thought we were getting a class pet, not a puppy sacrifice. Now all of y'all better make sure you do your bucking vocab or Buck gets Ooh. it. Get an F on your paper, no problem. Two lines and a circle, make it an A+. Hacks. 
What about a C minus? I can't show this to my parents. They'll beat me with a wooden spoon. Make it into a zero. Oh, no, no, no. Circle and then pop an A in there. I'm going to make the minus into a plus. But what about a D? How you going to do this one? Complete the circle. Put in an A. Add a little plus. Yeah. Smart. No, you're not smart because you got a D. You're just crafty. A sneaky mother fricker. A 41. And it's late. How you going to make this? into an A. Oh. Late into date? I have never seen that been done before. Pretty good. It still doesn't change your actual grade. But it may save you from a beating or two. How geography teachers be making exams? Y'all are gonna have to label this diagram. But wait, colors? No. Can't have none of that. This ain't a private school. We ain't got the budget to be printing in color. That's a private school privilege. Also, this be looking a little too easy. You can clearly see where everything is. Brightness, all the way up. Contrast, all the way up. The goal is to make it as obscure as possible. Until you can barely see anything except the numbers you have to label. I'm like, what am I even looking at? Doesn't matter. That's all you need to see. Perfect. Me thinking the teachers would be strict and boring at prom. You mean you didn't get dress coded for that? My dope ass physics teacher walking down the red carpet with me. Uh... <laughs> you know, I hate to be that person. Unfortunately, there is a thin line between like nice, cool teacher and like creepy teacher. Or you know, maybe they like overlap. I only say that because I had a high school teacher that married one of his students. Is that not weird? Me thinking all of the teachers were gonna be boring at prom. The strict math teacher. What's she doing? Deborah out here wilding. Tap dancing with no shoes on. And she really busting out the moves. When the teacher leaves the class for five minutes. Hurry, hurry. Set it up. Made a pyramid of all the chairs. Oh, I can't believe that didn't work. Do it again. <laughs> Imagine being in the classroom next door. I would have thought the building was collapsing. Everybody hurry, grab a chair. We gonna act like nothing even happened. POV, oh, that one teacher help. with no chill. Of course, that's Yola. <laughs> you don't usually yeah. ask me for help. Uh, I know, but I'm really stuck on A. <laughs> you're stuck on A? Yeah. Oh, this is easy. Bro, yeah, you gonna have to back up. Ah. You know this, they can add Yola. Back up. Back up. They always be sticking something in somebody's face. This classroom ain't big enough for the both of us. Oh, this is easy. Yeah. Oh, Adiola, come on. Uh, no, 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 If you are close enough that I could smell you, you are too close. Back up. What a normal student steals on a night out. Us with a bathtub. Where you get a bathtub from? The Home Depot? Hooligans, for real. When other people present and then you realize how bad your presentation is. <laughs> that is not a good feeling. It's like when the first person goes up and they absolutely kill it. And then you like, I don't even want to present anymore. I didn't even understand the assignment. Y'all making me look bad. Me fixing my hair so my next teacher doesn't know I have AirPods in and I can pass the test. I don't know how that's going to help you pass the test. But like you would literally have AirPods in and just like put your hair over them. Who will know? Unless y'all teacher be like checking ear flaps. Oh, it's one of those sticky hand things. <gasps> Is that what they're for? You can literally like grab onto other things. I bet this only works on paper though. Are your spidey senses tingling or something? <laughs> See? Y'all laughing way too loud. Is she just in the back sleeping through it? Who's the hyena laughing? Is that the teacher? She was watching five minute crafts. Pop on some googly eyes, fall asleep in class. Ain't nobody buying it. With all this ruckus, she's still unbothered. POV, we hear the security guards. <laughs> nah, uh-uh. This wouldn't have worked in my high school. I tried to skip class once, one time. And before we left, we tried to hide in the bathroom. And then we got the security guards walking around. She was standing outside the bathroom. Ladies, I know you're in there. I'm gonna count to three. All of you are gonna come out. And then at this point, I'd be sweating. And she literally came in. Land open every single stall. And of course, we were all hiding in the big one. Just like, okay, ladies, get to class. I mean, it worked because I never tried to skip again. <laughs> Today was anything but a book bag day for seniors. And <laughs> so you're not allowed to bring a backpack. She put her laptop on a clothes hanger. Huh, I didn't even know it could fit. That was pretty smart. So you telling me you could just hang up your laptop in your closet? Like a pair of trousers, all right? 
Teacher, can't get movie to love. I don't know if it's gonna work, guys. Classmates sad. Oh no, we were supposed to watch a movie today. But somebody doesn't know how to refresh the page. Oh, wait, <gasps> the kid that knows computers just spawned in the classroom. Let me try something. Hits refresh. Yeah, Matt the movie, our hero. Thank you so much. It's what I do down the hall. It won't load, someone help. You should go off to another classroom to press refresh. The hero we need but don't deserve. Man, I don't know why teachers have not figured this out by now. Also, school Wi-Fi is so whack for no reason. Y'all still be using dial-up. Nobody, that one male PE teacher. Oh, girls, I'm, in. I'm coming in. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Someone left their hands. Someone left their hands. Ah! I'm not looking. I'm not looking. So are you trying to go to jail? I always had the female PE teachers do this. They would always be walking through the locker room. Like, what are you doing? Like, wait outside. Y'all looking mad suspicious. You know they got locker rooms in jail? Me eating breakfast on the first day of school. Y'all eat breakfast on the first day of school? I used to be sick to my stomach. Very nervous the night before and the morning of. I used to get like hella anxious on the first day of school. What if I don't know anybody in my class? What if no one likes me? Is my fit fire though? Honestly, I'm so glad I don't have to go to school anymore. Done learning. Hey, that's kind of sus. Get your hand off. Wait a second. <laughs> Hey, I didn't know you were chill like that. And that Billy is how I met your mom. <laughs> oh, tiny little kid just spawns in their classroom. Where did it come from? Why are you ignoring it? Pick it up. Give it a little kiss. Maybe some milk. Bro lugging around the biggest backpack of all time. Why is your backpack small? Hey, don't backpack shame him. Why is yours so big? Damn. What, what all do you have in there? Your knowledge. Oh yeah? Uh -huh. That knowledge. Yeah, hella. The bigger the backpack, the more knowledge. Nah, he just maxed out his inventory. Why your backpack small? Why your backpack small? What do you mean why your backpack small? No, it's average size. <laughs>